So we're here with uh, Izorg. Izorg. Izorg, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who are you? I'm Laurent Jamais. I'm the one of the founders of the company in charge of the business development. So what are we looking at here? What is this? That's the first image sensor on plastic. So we are the first company to develop image sensor on plastic. Did you say image sensor? Yeah. So like a camera? Or? It's like a camera, yes. What we are developing is large area image sensor uh, with different market and application. So uh, are you able to recognize the Joconde or how does it work? Yes, so that's for this demo is the principle of scanning surface where you just scan on all over the surface the image. One of the first applications is for medical markets where we are developing large area image sensor for X-ray equipment where we can develop more cost-effective products or more robust products with the plastic substrate, so more robust to shock. So how much more cost-effective compared to existing solutions? Or is it just different solutions? No, it's a very significant cost reduction, at least 30%, uh, reducing the cost versus the traditional technologies. And uh, what are you showing here, for example? Is this a touchscreen? So that's a new also proof of concept where we just integrate the technology behind the LCD. So the principle that you just push infrared light over the surface of display, that's the light is reflected by your hand and pushed through the display and detected by the optical sensor. We create just the 3D effect, we call it the post tactile technology, just create new effects with 3D interaction, typically for graphics and gaming. So this is different from normal touch? Yes, that's different from normal touch. Uh, because it's compatible with touch. You, you don't actually it. touch. It's you don't touch it. You can touch if you, you want. You can, but or you get close. Yeah, but you can also interact without touching the surface. How far can you be? Uh, typically about two, three centimeters, just to create interaction with graphics, typically for gaming. So you just do uh, quick uh, gestures, and uh, how about wearable? Is it uh, going wearable, down? so that's also something we are just uh, starting to uh, develop. That's typical, this kind of band that you can put inside the wrist. So it's flexible, like this, and that's we can use for different applications. can be used for biometrics application or health monitoring. We just can monitor, for example, the blood uh, in the hand, and you can have very accurate information, for example, on oximetry. So that's typical for uh, biometrics or uh, health monitoring. So where would you put this exactly? It's, it looks a little bit dark. Does it go in front of the screen or on the side of it? Or where does so it go? So for this one, it's going to be inside the plastic, for example. Inside the, the wristband? The wristband, that's typical integration possibility. For the display, it will be backside of the display, so you don't care about transparency. So just behind the LCD stack, and that's the major uh, benefit of the technology, you don't need to be transparent. Because there is this distance that works. Because the infrared light is going through the LCD, so it's as we are sensing the infrared light, we don't need to be in front of the display. But are you losing some sensitivity because it goes through something? Yes, so we need that to have a really sensitive device, exactly, uh, to uh, detect the minimum light quantity, yes. So what are we looking at over here? Uh, what, what is this? So that's the typical uh, fold we are manufacturing in the pilot line. As uh, this are uh, unit photodiode. Okay. So each one is a pixel, is a photodiode, and typically you can use this, for example, for user interface products. Where you can interact, you see, without touching the surface. What is this number? It's just to indicate that you are detecting position of finger all over the surface. So right here in this product you have some of these there? Exactly, yes. How many of these do you have there? Uh, it's typical about uh, 12, 12 sensors, yeah. Cool. 12 positions, yes. So this could be perfect for a smartwatch? Yes, our typical application is for home appliances where you can interact with uh, surface uh, with grease or water. So um, it's not taking pictures, right? What is it doing? Depends on the application. It can take pictures, for example, for this one can be uh, the concept of mobile scanner. So just imagine that in the part, in the future you get just a surface able to scan uh, typical, oh, sorry, typical barcode. So it can be used uh, for barcode reading or type code reading. So it can take a picture of a special code. So how, how efficient is it at reading this barcode compared to a regular smartphone camera? Uh, it's the, the concept is to have this, for example, embedded inside the equipment or inside the wearable equipment. 
So that's uh, compared to camera, you don't need to have a special camera or device. It will be embedded inside the equipment. So uh, what's the weight? What's the power consumption? What's very the low price? Power, very low power consumption. Very low weight. We're talking, so you see, about 2 grams. And uh, the prices can be uh, typical depending on market and product, but very cost effective because we are printing materials on surface. So the, your material is on this? No, no, this one is just an example of barcode. The product is this one. We are just making deposition of liquid material on top of the plastic. Alright, so just a little, little liquid material. Yes. So are you in the, you printed electronics? Yes, that's exactly the, what we call it, the printed electronics, because we print materials, liquid materials on, on plastic. You call it organic electronics, because we are using organic materials from the organic chemistry. Or you can talk about large area electronics. So is this only some prototypes? How about huge quantities? How soon? Uh, the pro uh, we plan to have mass production units in two years in Limoges, center of France, and with first product, for example, for connecting objects. So we are right now developing product for uh, for volume quantity uh, within uh, one or two years. And you need some printers. Uh, some hardware to make yeah, it? You're yeah. not making those things, right? Yeah, we, we buy equipment. Uh, we, uh, we make some special uh, partnership with equipment suppliers. So right now it's just a prototyping R&D stage, right? Uh, right mass now production it's, yeah. is production uh, uh, Within tuning. two years, yeah. Within two, two years? Yes, yeah, with the mass, mass production unit uh, in Limoges, yes. So how big is it going to be? Are the, you the only ones doing this? Yes, we are the only company developing uh, optical sensor on plastic. And there will be... Uh, a large, ca large capacity manufacturing unit in Limoges. So this is a little bit... It's funny because this is like... It looks like a display. So it could it could cover the display or... No, uh, it could cover the, the display, area yes, of the display? It's behind the display, yes. So yes. What, what's the future? Is it just going to be able uh, to take pictures and stuff? No, what, no, is it going to get better and better? What's <laughs> happening? No, the, the future is really to support emerging... Uh, let's say mega trends for the electronics. So for medical segment new sensor for medical equipment, wearable device, security for, with biometrics, health monitoring, connected objects. So we are supporting all these mega trends of the electronics for medical segment, health control, security, and connected objects. Robotics? No. Robotics as well, exactly, yeah. yes. Wearable, robotics, and uh, I IoT, IoT stuff? IoT, yeah, yeah, industrial IoT, yeah. So basically when you get close to something, it knows you're there or something, or...? Uh, for the market, we are just... Was interacting, humans interacting with yes, things? Yes, human interaction, so detection of the object. Uh, and optical sensor is very good because it's not intrusive. So did you invent this? Uh, it's not really invention, it's the vision uh, supported by the founder of the company, it's a product vision, and we work a big research lab to develop the technology. So it's a mixed uh, competence of uh, technology, product design and business development.